Today we did something that none of us have ever done before. We went fishing for gar. We had no idea how to catch these things, but we got a tip from a buddy and we figured we'd go give it a try. There's probably a lot of ways to catch them, but I'm gonna show you what we did. These gar can be in shallow water or deep water, and they're always schooled up. A lot of times you can see them near the surface in big schools. Since the fish were near the surface, we are just using a simple hook with a bobber a couple inches above it. A gar's mouth is really hard, it's just all bone. So we experimented with a variety of different hooks and came to the conclusion that no matter what type of hook you use, you're gonna lose some of them. We tried single hooks and treble hooks in different sizes. We're using emerald and golden shiners and just an all-purpose medium action spinning rod and reel. The bait is so light right. that we had to use really light braid to be able to cast it. Oh yeah. Despite their big teeth, you don't have to use a steel eater. We didn't break a single fish off all day. We started out by chasing them around, but then we figured out if we just sat in one spot, they would come to us. Our friend told us that when they bite, you have to let them run with it so they get it down in their mouth. But we tried both ways and we really couldn't tell the difference. When you hook one, take your time reeling it in because they fight really hard and they jump really high. Be careful when you get them in the boat. They have big teeth. None of us got bit, but we're wearing a glove to handle them. and it makes it a lot easier. It turns out gar fishing is really fun and easy. We all caught one, even Terry. I'm Danny Jones, and that was this week's fishingonline.com in-depth look.